Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and I'm coming at you with a labor-inducing workout. Now, I have to clarify, these exercises are all safe for pregnancy, but of course you should make sure you are cleared by your doctor or midwife for exercise, and we should not be trying to induce labor prior to 37 weeks of pregnancy. That said, I'm currently 37, going on 38 weeks of pregnancy, so I'm gonna walk you through this labor-inducing workout at my pace, and you're gonna take it at yours. You don't need any equipment for this workout besides a small step if you have one. You can do this with just your body weight. I'm gonna be using this half basu ball as my incline. If I was at home, I'd use the bottom stair on a staircase. It's nice and stable. It's gonna give you that small incline that you need, but you don't need to have that. The workout looks like this. You have five circuits. Each circuit has two exercises. The first exercise is your one minute of work. It's meant to simulate your contraction time. And then it's gonna be followed by 30 seconds of rest or recovery, which we're gonna be doing in a birthing position, which would be ideally to get baby into an optimal birthing position. So it's one minute of work followed by 30 seconds of recovery, and we'll be working through all five circuits. You only do each exercise once. It's gonna be quick and effective, a great way to raise your heart rate in those final weeks of pregnancy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using just my body weight today, and we're gonna start with a quick couple warm-up exercises to get us ready. So feet are stacked underneath my hips. I'm gonna take my hands right around my belly and we're gonna do a couple belly breaths or trans to engage our deep transverse abdominal muscles. So I'm going to inhale, belly expands. And on the exhale, I'm thinking about hugging baby in and up. My hands are simulating what my deep core is doing. Big inhale, belly expands. On the exhale, core wraps around me like a corset, hugging baby in and up. Let's do two more just like a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale, hug the baby with your deep transverse abdominals. One more, big inhale, and exhale, hug the baby, nice. Can you keep hugging the baby and breathing through that? Take a little bit wider stance if you need to. Hands come to the hips, and we're just gonna take a couple hip circles. So just hip circles, side to side, getting some movement throughout those hips and joints. Like I said, you're gonna take this workout totally at your pace, okay? However you're feeling today in those final weeks of pregnancy, this is all about you doing what feels good for you. Give me one more hip circle each way. Nice, from here we're just gonna go to a simple march in place, so just pull those knees up and up, just marching in place. Nice, you can take this all at your pace, your tempo, it's all timed intervals, so you do your best, right? The goal is to find a pace that you can stick with for that one minute of work, Think about pacing yourself during a contraction, right? If you've been through labor before, you'll have a, a mindset of what that feels like. If it's your first time, it's a great way to practice pacing yourself through that work interval and then finding that awesome recovery period. Let's march for four, three, two, and let's take it to hamstring curls. So pull the heels towards the glute, take those arms, squeeze those elbows back each time, heel to the glute, pull and pull, just opening up the top of the thighs, the quads right there. Little side to side action. Nice, just pull it here. We'll finish our warm up and jump right into that first exercise. Eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, go ahead, just walk it up. And I'm gonna show you your first move. So first circuit, you have two exercises, okay? Your first exercise is a little modified side to side squat and tap. So it's gonna look like this. Step right, pull, step left, pull. Tapping my heels together. Little side to side tap and pull. You're gonna do that for one minute. So again, you find a pace that's gonna feel good for you for one minute of work. And then we'll go into a 30 second recovery, which is just gonna be sliding down into a squat and rounding through the spine. As I squat, I'm gonna be inhaling, letting that belly open, letting that pelvic floor drop, baby getting into optimal position. Okay, that's what we're gonna be working on. Let's tackle this first circuit together. All right, you do your best. Forget the rest, move at your pace. I'm gonna take a side step to my left. We'll step left, one minute of work starts. In three, two, let's go. So baby squat, pull, pull. Bend those knees, nice. Tap those heels together. Thinking about getting a little bit lower in those legs each time if I can. Pulling those heels together, squeezing those inner thighs. You got it. Nice work, it's one minute of work. You wanna maintain that heart rate. I wanna be able to continue to talk to you. So we're gonna use the talk test, right? Make sure I can hold a conversation with you the entire time I'm working through that contraction. Nice, you're halfway, guys. 30 seconds left. Nice work. Stay in it. Bigger the arms, higher the heart rate. Baby, squat and pull. 
Squat and pull. You've got it. Nice work. We're gonna go right from this into that 30 second recovery period. We're just gonna go squats, inhale down, exhale round to stand. 10 seconds here. Yes, you can. Finish it. Nice. Final five, four, three, two, recovery. Find a comfortable position. You're gonna let that heart rate come down. Hands are gonna slide down the thighs. Inhale, exhale, round to stand. Inhale, exhale, round to stand. Nice. Close through the set your pace. Inhale, exhale. On that inhale, I'm just letting everything drop heavy to the floor. Exhale, 30 seconds goes by really fast. You're in the final five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it back in. Nice work. That's circuit one. Moving on. Circuit two. One minute of work, half jacks. Tap and reach, tap and reach, tap and reach, tap and reach. Okay? A little half jumping jack. It's a tap. Think about tapping and punching overhead. Hands come back, back to the hips or you can load them up and you can give me punches. I'll go for the punches. That feels good today. Let's go for punches. One minute right there. Now we're going to do that same squat position, but we're going to move back to a wall and put our arms overhead. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go right arm, right leg, tap. One minute of work. In three, two, let's go. Half jack, half jack. You can jack it or punch it. Tapping out to the side. The bigger you make this movement, the higher that heart rate is gonna get, right? This is low impact cardio. This is my one minute of work, my one minute contraction. You're so strong, mama. Yes, you are. Come on. Knock it out, knock it out. You got this. Stay with it. Big punches overhead. Punch and tap, punch and tap. Halfway, guys, 30 seconds. Yes, you can. Stay with it. Nice work, nice work. Come on, you got this. Nice. One minute seems a lot longer when you're working versus when you're watching like Netflix, doesn't it? Come on, come on. Nice work. So strong, that's what you are. 10 more seconds. Yes, you can. Finish it. We walk back to that wall. In five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. 30 seconds. I'm gonna take it back here to a wall. I'm gonna use this post. Okay, hands are gonna go overhead. I'm gonna inhale. And as I exhale, stand. Inhale. As I exhale, Stand. Now, why am I doing this with my hands overhead? I could also, if I have a pole, inhale, exhale, stand. Hands overhead is going to open up my lats. My lats are connected to my pelvic floor and my sacrum. Hands overhead is going to open up the lats, pull that sacrum open, create more room for baby. Take it down and up. You're going to do one more. Inhale, drop. Exhale, stand. So that's meant to simulate like the dancing move that I would do with my husband while I'm contracting and in labor. Okay, that's really popular. But know that putting your hands overhead is gonna open up those lats which are directly connected to the sacrum. It's gonna create a little bit more room for baby to drop down. Circuit three, this is where we're bringing in that step. So if I have a bottom stair of a staircase, I could use that. If I have a nice little basu ball, this is what I'm gonna use. Okay, I'm gonna go out just a little bit. I'm gonna be stepping Right leg first, so my right leg would step up to my bottom staircase or my slight incline. You could always do this from the ground. Step, pull, tap back. I'm gonna go step up, tap, step down, tap, step up, tap, step down, tap, step up, tap, okay? So little lateral step with a slight incline. I'll talk about why we're adding the incline as we work through this. Stepping up, right leg finds that stair or that slight incline. In three, two, let's go, step up, Tap, step down, tap. I might move a little slower. The basu ball creates a little bit more instability. Makes my core work a little bit harder. Okay, we're adding this slight incline to improve pelvic symmetry, right? So it's forcing my pelvic to shift, my pelvis, pelvic bones to shift a little bit here, right? That right hip goes up, left hip has to come up to meet it. It's good to have some movement in those hips. It helps baby drop into that position. A little bit of pelvic floor shifting helps baby drop. It's also good for pelvic floor function, post-birth, right? If you research or if you Google labor-inducing, you might find the mile circuit online. 
The mile circuit has you doing lateral side steps up a staircase like this for 30 minutes, right? To help induce labor. It's one of the things they say can help induce labor. That lateral movement. You're in it for three, two, and one. Recovery position. This right toe is gonna go slightly out at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna sit into a squat and I'm just gonna pulse. Pulse, pulsing down right here. Nice 45 degree angle here. Again, opening up that hip, that pelvic floor, creating a little bit of pelvic asymmetry. Help keep movement happening down there. Help baby shift down into that nice birthing position. Nice. Right here for five, four, three, two, and one, recover. Nice work, you guys. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. This is the only circuit you'll repeat, other side. So I'm gonna move my step over to the left. Now my left leg's gonna step up, right leg's gonna come to meet it. We're gonna be moving laterally to our left. One minute of work. Those same two exercises. Ready? We go in three, two, let's go. Step touch, step touch. Nice. Again, it's all your pace. This is your minute. Do with it what you choose. You got it. You just keep moving. One exercise, one rep at a time. This is where I'm always so grateful to just be able to keep moving in that third trimester, right? This is my third baby. All those labor things are starting to come back to me now. Starting to get a little nervous, a little anxious, but really just so stinking excited to meet this little bugger. Halfway, guys, 30 seconds right here. You got it. Stay with it. One step at a time. Nice work. Big arms. Nice. Think about squeezing that back. Nice. We're going to do that same hold, pointing the left toe out at that 45 degree angle. Squat pulses. You got it. Stay with me right here. Five. Nice. Four. You got it. Final. Three, two, one. Nice work. Find that wide squat. Left toes go out to a 45 degree angle. Opening up that hip, creating a little, nice. Letting baby just shift down. Squat pulses here, catch your breath. 30 seconds, guys. This is circuit number four or five. Legs are starting to feel a little fiery. You got it. Keep pulsing right here. 10, nine, eight, you got this. Seven, you are so strong, mama. Yes, you can. Last five, four, three, two, Recover, Whew. walk it off, walk it off. Nice work, I'm gonna set my step off to the side here and we're gonna go into our final fifth circuit. Okay, we're gonna hold a nice wide squat. It's gonna be a little bit of legs on fire because it's one minute of squat pulses. Take a rest if you need to, but you're gonna go heels out, or sorry, toes in, toes out, toes in, toes out, toes to me, toes out. So we're just gonna be pulsing back and forth, moving, the toes in and out, working that adductor. Okay, that's my inner thigh, hip muscle, and my adductors, which are really great for stabilizing the pelvic floor as well as helping that pelvic floor move. All right, so squat pulses, one minute. This is your final burnout, your final contraction today. All right, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see if this labor-inducing workout actually induces labor, right? Here we go, squat pulses. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Toes out, toes in, toes out. Toes in, toes out, toes in. Nice, you can have your hands on baby. Wherever it's comfortable for you, you can put them at your side. Nice wide squat, awesome job. If you're starting to feel a little bit of pelvic pressure and pelvic pain, you can always walk that squat in. The more narrow stance the squat, okay, the more stability you're gonna have in that pelvic floor. The wider I get, the less stability. So if you're having SPD or pelvic pain, you can always narrow that stance. You got it right here, come on. Halfway, guys, 30 seconds. Legs are on fire, I know, I feel you. You are so strong, mama, yes you are. Come on, it's this, and then we're just gonna drop into a low squat. I'm gonna bring my little step back. You could use the bottom stair of a staircase, a yoga block. We're just gonna sit into a nice low squat, relax that pelvic floor, cool it down. Come on, 10 seconds of work here. Yes, you can, stay with me. Come on, last five, four, three, two, and one, nice work you guys. Walk it off. I'm gonna bring my stepper bench back into play. You could grab a yoga block or that bottom staircase on a stair. And we're just gonna drop down to that nice seated position right here. Hands are gonna come to my inner thighs. I'm just gonna breathe. You can bring your hands to baby. Big inhale, 
And exhale. Just think about letting everything relax down to the floor, especially on that exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Everything relaxes this time instead of contracts. Think about relaxing that pelvic floor. So often we're told kegels and contracting that pelvic floor. This, towards the end of pregnancy, those final works, we're thinking about really relaxing that pelvic floor, taking that stress off, making space for baby to drop down. Big inhale. Exhale. Everything drops. Just play sitting. That you can hold this seated position for as long as feels comfortable for you. For those final weeks, they recommend hanging out here a couple times a day. Big inhale, big exhale. You can stay right here, and that's how you can finish this workout. Otherwise, I'm going to give you a couple additional stretches you could take if it feels good for you. I'm just going to take those legs a little bit wider. I'm just going to shift my elbows into one side and the other, just stretching those adductor muscles, those inner thighs that we worked, right? We activated them, and now we're going to stretch them, especially if you have that pelvic pain. It's because your adductors are overworking to support your core during this time. And so by stretching them, just that little stretch, opening up those inner thighs, you're taking a little bit of that pressure off that SPD or that pubic symphysis area. Nice. Awesome job. From here, I'm just going to bring my feet to a butterfly position. Nice little incline. Feels really good soles of the feet to touch, roll the shoulders down and back. I'm gonna take my hands behind my back. Inhale, chest expansion, pulling those knuckles away from my body. Just opening up the chest. A good stretch to keep in your back pocket as we move into motherhood and find ourselves like this, hunched over, feeding, snuggling baby. Just thinking about coming back to this big chest expansion a couple times a day, rolling those shoulders down and back, opening up the front side of the body. Feels really, really good, doesn't it? Nice. Two more big breaths here. Let's take hands back to baby. Big inhale and exhale. If you can let that belly drop, you don't have to contract it. You can just let everything go down towards the floor. Big inhale and exhale. A couple neck rolls side to side. Roll up that neck. Feel really good. Let's hold right ear to right shoulder. Hand can come on top of the head. Nice little gentle neck stretch. Back to the other side. A little wobbly in my seat when I close my eyes. Other side, and that is it, you guys. That is your labor-inducing workout. Awesome job making it through this. I'm sending you so many prayers. I'm wishing you a wonderful labor and delivery. Keep up the good work, mama. You've got this. You are so strong. Remember that. Have an awesome rest of your day. And if you want more pregnancy or prenatal workouts or an entire free postpartum workout plan, you can find it all at nourishmovelove.com. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me for that labor-inducing workout. I hope you loved it. And if you did, please drop a subscribe to my channel right here. And if you want more of our pregnancy-friendly workouts, you can find them right here. Otherwise, if you want to bookmark a couple postpartum workouts for after baby, you can find those right here. Thanks for joining and have a great day.